Hello, we're going to do a tutorial in Movie Studio 16 Platinum. This is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and we're going to talk about how to fix your light levels or your leveling. I have two footage here that one of them I overexposed and one of them isn't overexposed. Now, in Vegas Pro, if I was going to fix this in Pro, I would watch my Pro tutorial about how to fix it in Pro because in Pro, you can actually pull up the histograms to see your actual light levels and your luminous levels and things like that. That's very important to do it um, to do it the right way uh, if you're doing this on a professional level. However, in movie studios you have the same tool, you just have less uh, ability to see what you're doing with it, to mess with the math with it. So, uh, that, however, you will be able to get quite a good looking result uh, as far as that goes. So, uh, you won't be able to color grade it and to to fix the light levels as much as you would imagine with you could with pro because pro doesn't pull any punches it's the pro version but with movie studios uh, there's still a lot you can do so first we're gonna grab the level so go to your video effects tab uh, and look for the levels uh, effect so that's gonna be right here and I'm gonna throw that on each footage so I'm not doing anything it's just a default and uh, you can see this one's much brighter. So we're going to go hit this effects button on the clip here. If you can't see it, scroll out with your mouse wheel to make the button av uh, available. And and here you can actually darken the footage with input start. And you can brighten it with input end. And with output end you can kind of flatten it. You can actually change change its high values and low values in another way as well and then gamma is the overall mid-tier brightness of your footage all of these can have an effect so if you overexpose you're gonna wanna drop the gamma a little bit you're gonna wanna increase the input start and you're gonna wanna make the footage look more uh, natural again so like so the brights actually need to be brought up a little bit too in this one um, there we go. So that 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 is a much better look at that. Awful better. On my last tutorial, I overshot it on purpose, and uh, I did too good of a job. I blew out all the extra information that helps you do that. Um, so the best way to fix overexposure is just to get a better shot in the first place. Um, but but that that would be how to correct it there. That's an extreme example. You can even correct your shots that look pretty good. You can make them look better, more cinematic. You can do that like by making it darker and this increases the contrast, the overall contrast of the footage. Look at that, that's so much, that's so much prettier there. Output start, you can even kind of wash it out a little bit more if you want. Drop the gamma just a touch. There you go, that's, that's, that's a good correction there. Like I said, in the pro version, you'll have the actual histograms and things, the actual charts that show you the math behind what you're doing to the footage. Um, but you can still do it in movie studios and get a pretty great effect. Now you can see there is a color difference because uh, of the way I shot it and everything. There's actually a color difference between the two shots, and this one, the color is definitely more off-putting than over here. Um, that's something you can actually fix with your color corrector. That will be a different tutorial, uh, but this was just such a great opportune moment. moment. I wanted to go into Movie Studio 16 Platinum and show you how to fix overexposure and uh, light levels in Movie Studio 16 Platinum. Again, Pro, uh, if you have Pro, I would definitely check out my Pro tutorial for this one because uh, Pro is a little different, um, but you will get, you will get the group uh, great results with these. Now, the lighting didn't change much or anything over the scene. I didn't have to animate any of these things because the lighting's not changing. Like a cloud, does, a, the cloud doesn't leave and the sun come in and overexpose everything and stuff like that. So I didn't have to cut up my footage or animate the underexposure and overexposure because in general, these are the same, like similar light settings throughout the entire shot. So keep that in mind too. If you've got a lot of different light in your shot, if your camera's moving around and stuff like that, you're gonna have different lighting problems throughout the shot that you're going to need to correct. And you can do that with animations or cutting your shot into different pieces and uh, correcting it that way as well. So, uh, again, I didn't fix the color. That's going to be a separate tutorial. But thank you so much for watching. I hope uh, your videos start looking more cinematic because you're adding levels. I add levels to everything I do. I think it's the first thing I do. And it's a wonderful uh, video plug-in here. So, uh, thanks for watching. 
Uh, I have lots of Vegas Creative Software stuff coming out for Movie Studio 16 Platinum and uh, Vegas Pro 17, so stick around for uh, all of those.